Aries, how we doing Aries? So look, they put me on, um, you know, sometimes I get nothing for a lot of readings, but for you, they gave me a very Jamaican vibe, very Jamaican vibe. And I didn't even recognize the beat, yo. Um, so <laughs> uh, I could be like speaking to somebody who, yeah, true to God, God and truth. Okay, man, look, I could be talking to somebody that's completely different than me. You know, uh, you could be in Jamaica or of Jamaican descent or, you know, Rastafarian, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> good looking man. Yeah, definitely. They gave me the energy of a dude, you know. Good looking dude, takes action, got a lot of kids. You good, you fine and stuff. Yeah, probably. That's also your energy, Aries. King of Wands is your energy. So, we fit to do it, boo. Even if you're a female, you're uh you're more masculine in the fact that you would take action. You know what I mean? You're a good-looking female. You might have kids, but nobody would know it because you keep up with them. Yeah, everybody's in check. Everybody's hair is doing. Okay. Good-looking. Good-looking dude. Don't want for nothing. Yeah, they definitely talking about you with the king of wands. That's your energy, bro. I told you it was more masculine. Oh, yeah. You, you big boy. Big boy McCoy out here. You do a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah, you do. Go ahead, bro, with your bad ass. <laughs> All right, we're going to figure out what it's hitting for, Aries. Yeah, you under you, you under some pressure. Yo, you know, I hate to say this about you, Aries, because I don't want to put you down. So don't take this the wrong way, yo. But, you know, there's a thing where, you know, we got to work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying here is someone that breaks their back. They do some back-breaking ass stuff for a little bit of a change. A little bit of change, baby. You just, you're not getting paid what you're worth. You too pretty for this. Man or woman, you too pretty. Yep, that's what I thought too. I knew I wasn't wrong about it. Um, look, <clears throat> you're about to hit a new cycle, boo. As in right now. As in the moment you see this message. And that's just facts. Like, it's just facts. There's facts up in here about who you is, who you belong to, whose beloved you are. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody um, also around you may see you as the one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not trying to get weird, but like as the chosen one. Like, you just special. Something about you special. You smell special. You look special. You special. You know, you a showcaser. You're a showstopper out here. And someone here is going to recognize you for it. You're being recognized. I see that. Hell yeah. It's time to be practical. You know what I mean? Put our thinking caps on. How we fit in? Yes, I saw this on the pre-shuffle. I just didn't want to say. Okay. Oh, yeah. If you would do, you know what I mean? I checked the analytics sometimes, right? So I checked it um, two days ago. 80% of my audience as of two days ago was male. So I'm not, uh, hey, listen, whatever brother I'm out here talking to, can I tell you something? The, all this heavy lifting, boo, you look good. <laughs> okay, you look real, real good. All I'm going to tell you is use your thinking cap when you're out here dealing with these females. You've got somebody possibly that could be um, a fire sign, as in a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They right up your alley, and they watching you, boo. They watching you. I, th I don't think you stupid either. I think you know they watching you. Like, yeah, I know a lot of pretty girls watch me. Yeah, but there's one out here that moved the way you move. When I move, you move just like that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. With all this stress, yeah, you got one female out here that can keep up with you. So, you know... It's giving me the energy of don't miss the forest for the trees. You know what I'm saying? Don't overlook this. Don't overlook this female because this is the one. This is a female that pulls her own weight. Um, you know, I don't want to listen. The girl pretty. Fine as hell. But when y'all work and she, you know what I'm saying? Look, when I get, when I put my makeup on and do myself up pretty, I'm the finest girl in Miami. And I'm not putting on, I'm being, I'm being, I'm just being honest with you. But on a bad day, oh, 
Girl, I look like something just rolled out the trailer park. You hear me? Don't sleep on this female. You know what I mean? You might see her every day and just, you know, you know how you get comfortable with somebody, you see them every day, but you may have never seen this woman the way, what I'm describing, like when she's really fitting to go out, you're going to be like, um, when did we have whores in this house? Yeah. <laughs> I think not, ma'am. Anyway, you got one female here really watching you. Salivating. Okay. Yeah. They, <laughs> say less. This female, thank you to bomb.com. You hear me? This is somebody that's, yo, this female most likely is going to invite you out on a date. If I'm talking to a dude, I mean, it's not customary for a female to invite a dude out on a date. It just... It's weird, you know what I'm saying? But I would expect it. I would. I would. And I've got to, I got to break it down. Uh, ladies, I'm sorry if you was waiting on the Aries reading and you feminine. Um, this is absolutely for a man. Um, the man here, brother, you got it going on. I don't, I think you work extremely hard, but you do not make a lot of money. You don't. I see a cycle here where it's time for us to put our finger caps on. I also see a female here, man. She will be watching you. And if this is like a boss, you know what I mean? Maybe your female is a boss. All I'm going to say is y'all think alike. If I'm not talking about a romantic situation, this might be a female boss. She's trying to offer you a level up. You hear me? Because you just, you working so hard that she sees you like that. She's on the same page as you. She's been watching you. And I don't think you a dumbass. I think you know people watch you too. I do. I think you do. I think you go, oh Lord. I don't think you give a fuck. Wow. <laughs> Child, Aries, you don't give a shit that people watch you. You don't. Um, this is somebody that uh, you can be trusted. I'm not trying to brag on you, dude. But um, you know people look at you and you don't care. Uh, nine of swords, you don't give a fuck. Let me say it louder in the back for the ones in the back. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, you, yeah, okay. You could watch me. I, I don't care. Watch me on camera. Take a picture. You don't, yeah, no, you don't give a shit. Yeah, it's not about love. It's that you look, what's love got to do with it? It sure, no, when it comes to your money, uh uh. You're, a, you're somebody that, um, you don't take a lot of risks. Uh uh. Regardless if the boss is watching or not, you do not, you don't give a fuck. There's some things that you just say no to. You would just say no type of dude. There's like your yes is yes and your no is no. I like that, man. I do. There's some things that you would never, ever do, period. Like you're the type of dude that can be trusted because people know there's no way in the hell with this, no, you're very clear. You have very clear boundaries. Your yes is yes and your no is no. Straight up. Mm -mm. If this is a workplace romance, you ain't with it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Somebody here is not a, listen, young lady, if you're trying to cross watch for an Aries and I'm talking to a female, um, if you work with this gentleman, he is not willing to cross any boundaries. Mm -mm. No, this is a gentleman that does not... Does not shit where he eat. He don't give a fuck about, no, he's, he's very clear about a no answer. I do not get love here in the workplace. No, no I'm telling you, queen of pentacles, no. Nope, 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 nope. Not willing to chance it, not at all. Uh -uh. No, I don't know why, I don't care to know why. All I'm trying to tell you is the brother is not with the, with the workplace romance, and no. I missed one. Sorry, baby. Hold on. Oh, this is why. Yeah. Okay, I figured this. This is why. Mm-hmm. As hidden as this card was, this is why the brother's not with it. This uh, sneaky, lying, cheating ass energy where we cheat on folks. You know, there's a lot of married folks doing this shit at their place of employment. That's why this person is not willing to do that. They will not cheat, period, at their place of employment now. 
they're not going to do it romantically. This is a person that ain't even going to steal so much as a pen from work. They're not willing. They're not with the shits. No, no. Hell no. Um, if you know what, I, I'm going to say that. However, Aries, somebody here is watching to see, you know, it's kind of like a temptation is what I'm seeing here. I think you're going to pass it with flying colors, but someone is trying to kind of like convict you like you, you would be down with shits. Like you, yeah, everybody know Aries, they get down. You know what I mean? They, they run all the girls in here or they're known to be a thief or something. No, you know, you, you ain't no boo-boo the fool. This Aries is no boo-boo the fool. Uh-uh, you are you far from a boo-boo the fool. You, this is an Aries that's seen it all, done it all, got several t-shirts. Okay, boo, shit. You have a female here that's under a lot of stress watching you. Like, the female might be trying to live up to your standards or, like, impress you or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you ignoring her. You ignoring her. She's watching you ignore her, and it stresses her out. Maybe because everybody else, nobody else ignores her like this. But you ignoring her, and it's stressing her out. She's watching you ignore her. She's waiting for a reaction. She's trying to do the most to flirt or do whatever. She's trying to be petty as fuck to get your attention, and you're not giving it to her. I think you recognize this person as a lying, cheating-ass snake. Like, dude, I, I'm not with that. You will be waiting a long time, boo. I've already been down that road. I've had my heart broke. My heart is shut off to anything like that. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. 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 Every, you know, it's here. Aries, can I just say this? It's hard to get your attention, love. It is. Uh, somebody here is desperately seeking your attention. It's like a wanted ad, and um, they're doing the most to get it. This is like a female even inviting you out on a date. You know what I mean? Or can I get you some? Can I give you a cigarette? Can I give you? Can I buy you a soda or whatever? This person sees you as a warrior, as a hero. I mean, the sun just rises and sits on your ass. We're going to find out what's going on, what it's heading for. Mm -hmm. This female don't know you like she think you know you. I'll tell you that at all. They're telling me that you have totally ignored this female. You have. You totally ignored her. Yeah, look. I'm so sorry. I fucked up so bad. You're not with this shit. You are so cut and dry. Aries, when you want to take action, believe me, you won't hesitate to pull the trigger. When there's something that you want, your yes is a yes and your no is a no. But when something looks sneaky and shady, uh-uh. I do think you've learned the hard way. You know, I'm so sorry I fucked up so bad. Yeah, nah. You ain't with the shits. Uh-uh. Nah, I don't deal with that fucked up so sorry shit. Uh-uh. Save it. Sexy. I told you. Duh. Yo, you have a female here that thinks you sexy as a motherfucker. I just didn't want to say it. This person's watching you lift weights. If you lift stuff, I don't know if it's at your... I just said your job because the, pen, the page of Pentacles is here. But if this is the gym or whatever the fuck, somebody's watching you. It could be a neighbor. I don't know who it is, but you got the attention of a female. And she think you sexy as a motherfucker. Uh-uh. You're not willing to re-entertain anything. You're not. You got divine intervention try to come out for you. What's up, this? Wow. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Baby, I don't know who I'm talking to. If you really are some type of celebrity, it's nothing. It's, you know what I mean? It's like... The way you spend money, it's like, here, baby, don't spend it all in one place. You know, you, you, you got a lot of public attention. You do things for people. And you're a very positive man. And, and, and your attitude is positive. It's a very Rastafarian, Jamaican-type vibe. But you sexy, baby. You sexy as hell. I'm talking to a dude out there as sexy as a motherfucker. Keep your eyes open. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I will get more into that because I want to know why. 
I'm so sorry. I fucked up so bad. Sexy motherfucker, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. What is this? Why do I got two dudes here? Yeah, y'all. Uh -uh. All right, look. Either you're confiding in somebody or somebody's confiding in you. I'm so sorry. I fucked up so bad. Promise me you won't tell somebody. I feel like this is a friend because I got two dudes here. This is where somebody crosses the line with you, y'all. Somebody's describing something that they did. This is a risk that you would have never taken. This is a hell no to you. A hell no. Uh-uh. No. And this person is confiding in you. Um, you know what I mean? Like, dude, I made a mistake. They're confiding in you. Promise me you won't tell nobody. Okay. Sexy motherfucker here, boy. This is a stripper. No. Oh, hell no. Okay. Look. Sexy motherfucker stripper. Ooh, chow. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. It's Aries. I really want to think this ain't you. I ain't so sure anymore, man. Aries. <sighs> Somebody here. Either it's you or a friend. And I'm going to say, because it says, keep your friends close, your enemies closer. It's either you or a friend, dude. Sexy motherfucker. Queen of Wands is a sexy motherfucker. Somebody here is very stressed out. Because if somebody should look into something that they don't know shit about, they don't have a clue. They're going to get their heart broke. I'm telling you that. Page of Swords, Two of Swords equals the Three of Swords. And, yo, if somebody starts investigating this shit, even if I look, even if I subtracted two of swords minus the page is, is the page, they're gonna get the truth. They're gonna get the truth. They go to snooping. They're gonna see a whole titty bar. And, and I will give somebody kudos. Whoever somebody, you know, stepped out with was a sexy bitch from the titty bar. Big facts. Damn. Oh, my God, yo. Why does this have shit to do with you, man? Because they telling me, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And I see this. I see somebody giving money to somebody who gets a lot of attention. This is like tipping a tip trail. This is like tipping a girl that gets a lot of attention. You know what I'm saying? Everybody find this motherfucker sexy. You better keep your friends close. If, listen, Aries, if you confided in a bitch and you was talking about... Some sexy stripper bitch. Ooh. Yo. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Won't take no for an answer. Give me something else here. So sorry I fucked up. Promise you won't tell me. Give me something else there. Honest to God, truth. Somebody is telling you, listen, somebody's sorry. Promise me you won't tell nobody honest to God truth. Somebody has confided in you or you've confided in them. This person didn't give a fuck when they did it. They didn't. They didn't care at all. They ain't got no love for nobody. They was completely outside their character. They was on some ground. They were on some slime time. They were on some slime time, dude. They was just being fucking nasty out here. Lying, stealing, cheating. That's what they, that's what energy they was on. Somebody has confided in somebody and told them the truth. What's up with this sexy motherfucker teddy bar stuff? Go ahead. Big trouble brewing. Damn. If somebody got some big trouble brewing, baby. What's this? Keep your friends close. Somebody here is giving an offer. You know, hey, you should come with me. It's awesome there. Listen, yo, somebody, listen, somebody's confided in you. Hey, I went somewhere, you know, sexy bitches, sexy bitches. Let me tell you something. You got some big trouble brewing. 
somebody here. Nah, yo, I'll buy you a beer. I, when we get there, you ain't got no money. I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? You got to see these girls. These are trophy bitches. And, it's, you know, it excites you. Let me tell you something. You better keep your friends close. Somebody's trying to get you involved in some sneaky shit. It's to kind of alleviate their guilt. Like, well, we both was there. So when it comes to alibi time and this person get caught, well, me and Jason was there. Me and Tony was there. Me and Roger, who, whatever your name is. You get what I'm saying? Because won't take no for an answer. Mm -mm. Sick pet. Somebody gonna say that Somebody's going to say that, like, their kid was sick. They're making up lies. Because somebody's not going to, to accept this answer. Won't take no for an answer. They're going to say somebody was sick. You know what I mean? This is excuses. Give me something else here. What is this about? Keep your friends close. Won't take no. What is this? Sick pet. What is this? Be more. Give me something else, dude. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hard worker in reverse. You got the queen of pentacles in reverse. This is a lazy bitch. Sick. Be careful what you invest in right now. They look good temporarily. Can I tell you something? This person here is playing you for a fool. Won't take no for an answer. Sick pet. Hard worker in reverse. You, you dealing with somebody that's not on your, you know. Aries, the type of dude I'm seeing is strong as fuck, dude. And this is somebody that like to lay on their back. Hard worker in reverse. It's easy. It's a bit too easy, isn't it? Most likely to pull a YouTube conspiracy in reverse. Yeah, this person don't do shit. Pregnancy loss. This bitch will say she pregnant. And I don't even think you had sex with her. No sex, sexually frustrated, pregnancy loss conspiracy it's like how the fuck did i get you pregnant we didn't have sex dude listen to me oh aries now baby hard worker because somebody here is not at work it's like all right well what, what how much would you normally make for the day you know what i'm saying boss how much how much all right cool you better keep your friends close and you somebody here is up shit's creek and they trying to drag you in with them you hear me Big trouble brewing. You got to, somebody wants to take you to the, they want to take you somewhere. It could be to the strip club or something. You know, all this, yeah, nobody will know. Nobody will know. Listen, you think, listen, promise me you won't tell nobody. I promise you this. It, it, I've been in this line of work for a long time, and I'm old enough to know that nothing that you do, you don't get away with shit, dude. Even if it comes up five years later, ten years, you don't get away with anything. Can I tell you something? Especially if you're spiritual. <laughs> Baby, you don't get away with nothing. And you want to know why you don't get away with nothing. It's not that nobody loves you. It's not that your spirit team don't love you. It's that if you don't satisfy your karma in this lifetime, you're going to have to satisfy it later. And if you can't satisfy it, your children will satisfy it. How's that sound? Careful, boo. Yeah, listen, your gut's bothering you. Aries, you know right from wrong. Justice with uh, the high priestess. Listen, your gut's going to bother you. You're going to sleep. Somebody acting like they don't give a fuck now, but just wait. Yeah, there's a, some woman here that you love. Somebody could be in a commitment to. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Let me tell you, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Listen, I got a mistress here in on a whole two of cups, and it's a justice thing. This your better half. It's not your wife, it's just the person you're committed to. And somebody here thinking about stepping out. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, ain't been no forward. There ain't been no excitement in a while. We ain't been on the same page. Things kind of slowed down. You know, it's a matter of time before somebody do something, before somebody go lay in their back with another lover, right? They start flirting around, getting sneaky, right? Emperor is your energy. It's your major arcana. It's in the reverse. This is telling me that you don't have enough discipline. You don't have it. You ain't the real emperor. 
You don't have enough discipline. You can't control yourself. Then what did I just tell you? The minute you step out of line, boo-boo, minute you do it, be prepared for judgment. And everybody gonna see the truth. That shit gonna come to light so fast about who the fuck you really is. And everybody will be, as loud as your disrespect was, is as loud as this announcement's gonna be. You know, it it should just be published in the journal because everybody going to see it. it. Everybody going to see who you really is. This will be a hard lesson learned on a little tiny bit of money that was spent to, like, gratify your happiness for a second, for a blip in time. And you didn't want nobody to know, but sure shit, somebody see you there. And they see you there with this girl. And she was fine as hell. And there's an outsider here that's real stressed out about it. And they finally get the upper hand on you on this sneaky, lying-ass behavior you was fitting to pull, okay? All the accusations are on you about how you stepped out on this hard-working lady, okay? And this lady just too damn busy to realize, like, what the fuck is really good. You get what I'm saying? Like, what? This girl got a lot on her plate already. Try, you know what I'm saying? And somebody here stepping out on her. With a whole titty bar dancer that, that twirls on poles and shit. Listen, this is an answered prayer that I'm giving you this message now. This is a warning. You got somebody here talking shit about you bad, dude. And this person's willing to lie on you. This is a very low vibing energy. These motherfuckers ain't your friends. They do not like you. That's why they said keep your friends close, your enemies closer. On a star card, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is an answered prayer. You got some friends here that ain't so much your friends. These people here are enemies in disguise. Spirits intervening, okay? Because somebody here really in love. I don't know if the girl pregnant, you just had a baby, you just got married, you just have made something official. You really in love with the person you with? Message, do you like all the shit you got, right? Because apparently somebody here is in a commitment that breed money and you with a divine counterpart. Somebody here is in a commitment with a divine counterpart, an empress, okay? And they doing something behind her back. And they thinking, well, it was just a little something. You know what I mean? It was harmless. Right? It was harmless. It was soothing to me. Your, your intuition, your, um, shit, what do they call that? Not your intuition. Your own conscious. The guilt of this, the shame of this, the embarrassment of this is going to eat you alive where you're going to have to tell on yourself about what you did in the past and you have a lot of assets to lose my friend and guess who's here to collect them these bitches these hood rat bitches that you was partying with you got some hood rat bitches in the past you hear me hood rat bitches that you sure shit gonna have problems with and it's going to be a lot of grudges and a lot of betrayals that you're going to be left to heal, my friend. You're going to be left to heal this. And you're going to be praying. You're going to be calling on Archangel. You're going to be calling on Archangels that you never even heard of. you got to look up the names of Archangels. And you got to wait on them to come through. Somebody here is dealing with somebody in a divine bloodline. And when you deal with divine bloodline, be careful, friend. That's all I'm going to say. If you know for a fact that somebody you deal with is in a divine bloodline, you know. You know who you mess with. Aries, if it's not you and I'm talking to a cross watcher, okay? And you know that the Aries person is in a divine bloodline. This is a different caliber of person. You know what I'm saying? When I met the, when I met the chick, she had her own. She had her own. This was a girl I ain't never seen nothing like. She was nine of pentacles. It, I mean... She didn't need nobody. She was I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-T. Do you know what that means? She got her own house. You already knew you was dealing with a different caliber of bra. You already knew. And the way her energy matched you. Okay. All right. Look. 
You could have turned on your back on this girl. And you make her wait, you know what I'm saying? Make her wait to figure shit out about what's going on in her house. You make her do this with this, this, this. You make her lose sleep. Best believe when this woman take control of the situation, she gonna take the kids. Uh, oh, happy day. Yeah, King of Pentacles. All these assets you love and the wife you love and baby girl you love. Brand new cycle, boo. And guess who's at the head of it? All bound up in some bullshit. Here's your new cycle. Here's you. All fucked up. All fucked up. In jail or in spiritual jail. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. But what I will tell you is um, the tower's here. Now, I think I'm catching you ahead of time because the decision is still yours and I'm dealing with somebody who's strong who does have a strong gut instinct like you you know right from wrong you got a lot to lose man and you got a lot of bottom feeder ass energy these people so called your friends but you like you elevated to the top to the ten of pentacles like most likely you have a lot of stuff that your friends don't have they don't live like you that's what I'm gonna say your friends and you don't live in the same subdivision if you pick up what I'm putting down, okay? They would, it, it would tickle them to death to, to delight. It would delight them to betray you. It would delight them to betray you. They have a, this is called temptation. They have a lot of, to, you have a lot of toxic energy around you that would love to betray you. You think people like looking at you? You think people like looking at this? You need to think long and fucking hard, okay? About the people that you got around you. Because some of them are from the past and they should have stayed there. They sad, they pathetic. Five of Cups is sad and pathetic. Some of them are your family. They have no business in your present energy. And how I know that is it's uh, three of cups minus six of cups. It still gives me a three of cups energy. It's, baby, they ain't got no energy. They don't got no place. And you've been knowing these people a long time. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, honey, you got some type of golden opportunity because all the work you put in. You've been hustling every day. We hustle and hustle. And you've been out here hustling for a minute, dude. I mean it. You've been on this journey for a while and then you got this big come up. And it does require manicuring. This requires everyday grooming. You know what I'm saying? And you feel like, man, I need help. You know what I'm saying? Everything's not everything. I feel like the world's against me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a fight at home, a fight everywhere I go. You down on your luck, especially if something's going on in your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just sad. You know what I'm saying? We fighting in my family. I need help. You know what I'm saying? We fighting. Everybody fighting in the family. I feel sorry for myself, right? There's definitely a third party interference here offering you a gift. And there's something here that you've been holding on to. This person's uh, offered you something. If they haven't offered it already, they're fitting to. This would be like a free pass into a gentleman's club, whatever. They offered you a phone number. They offered you something. Tell me I'm wrong. They, uh, they gave you a gift, and it's a third-party interference. This would fuck up your whole life. You held on to it because, you know what, I got to keep my options open. You know, what, what, what does it hurt holding on to something? Well, because it keeps your options open. And it keeps you confused, okay? I see you going on about your way. I see you very clear in your convictions. God-fearing man, you are capable of a lot of different things. You got you got the juice, baby. You, you know that you know a lot about things. I see you leaving. I just want to ask you this. When you leave, do you want people to wonder about what kind of man you are? Because I do see somebody here leaving someone they love. This this boy talented. 
there's a whole divine connection here. But I see a queen of swords cutting this shit off. Cut it like... If this pull, if she pull up and, and, and shit don't look right, she, it looks confusing. Can I tell you something about the Queen of Swords? She ain't going to be confused at all. She going to see the shit for what it is and she going to leave, dude. And when I say leave, I mean leave, leave. Audi 5000. I mean never see it again. Okay? The Hierophants here, I mean goodbye commitment, goodbye marriage, uh, hello court. You know, listen... You're very talented at a lot of things, but you got a big heart. You're a family man at the end of the day, okay? I think that you do what's right, especially when it comes to work, but there's something here that's changing in your line of work. Somebody here is trying to end you. And when I say end things for you, they're trying to end who you love, and they're trying to they're trying to end how people see you at your place of employment, the work you do. They're trying to end how people see your heart. They're going to change all that for you. I don't know why you're being tempted this hard. Other than, you know, the devil likes to tempt people that are like you. I'd be careful, baby. I'd be real careful. If you think I, I just didn't spell that out for you in seven different languages. <sighs> all right. Spirit, what's your opinion on this, man? What I just said. What's your spirit? Yeah. You got it, female, baby. It could be a Sagittarius. Queen of Wands is a Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. You have a really good-looking female here that's got a grudge with you. This female wants to betray you, okay? You have a female here that wants to betray you. This person does not like you. So they want to try to set you up. This, this female is trying to set you up. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this female has been uh, waiting, and they're trying to snare you with sex. This is somebody that keeps popping their ass in your face. Like, if you was at the club and you're trying to not look, this is a bad car accident. Like, how the fuck can I not look when this whole, you know, somebody shaking their dick in your face or their coochie? Yeah, somebody here is just waiting on the opportunity for you to bite they bait. This is somebody casting a line and trying to hook you. Somebody here is trying to get you on the hook. I'm telling you, they waiting too. This is called fishing. Somebody here is fishing. Go fish. Yeah, they better go fish. Yeah, I see you blind to this too. You've been, spirits talking about ignoring this or you've been trying to ignore it. Yeah, you've been, yeah, okay. Somebody here is trying to get the upper hand, and they're doing something sneaky and fucking shady to do it, dude. You could be seeing 77 a lot. If you're seeing that, that's a warning. King of Pentacles. There's something here that you don't know. Either you don't see it, or you've been ignoring it. This person is trying to get the upper hand on you, and they're doing it very sneaky. They're trying to lie, steal, and cheat, and they're trying to get the upper hand on you, okay? I see that you sit very comfortably financially. Like, you don't want for much. You, you're pretty comfortable. Yeah. This person's trying to... Listen, you don't... You're blind to what, whatever's going on. You're blind to it. You have no idea. When I say no idea, you really don't know. This person is trying... This person has managed to confuse you, dude. They are purposely trying to confuse you. Spirit said you're blind to this. You are blind to it. You're blind. You're completely blind, deaf, and dumb to it. This person is confusing the fuck out of you. Maybe it's me. I don't know. What I'm saying is somebody here is trying to get the upper hand, and they, they, they're deceiving you straight up. They're deceiving you. This is a member of your family. It's a friend or a member of your family, not a romantic partner. It, this is not a romantic partner. This is a member of the family or a friend that you would consider family. This person's trying to get the upper hand and they have been deceiving you. This person has managed to confuse you now for a while. Yeah, they got you looking everything. This person is running you ragged. I see that you got it. 
you do a lot to maintain the success of yourself. You know, if you if you are a uh, entrepreneur and you're a business owner, if not, um, you would be in leadership like supervision, management, business owner, somebody that takes care of himself and has assets, has shit to lose. So consequently, you're busy all the time. You're distracted a lot, okay? There's somebody here really, really fucking with you, dude. You don't have any clue, but somebody, yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Baby, it's, listen to me, two of swords, this person's confusing the fuck out of you, and I'm telling you the God's honest truth. You're going to see this shit, event. Spirit said it's a matter of time for you to see it, yeah. Um, the truth here, you do have a divine counterpart. I've already seen this woman come out. I do think I'm talking to a man. You have a divine counterpart. Um, and I'm not trying to belittle you. All I'm going to say is this person here is most likely spiritual um, and they're different. This is unlike any other woman you've ever been with. And I think that whatever the, the divine feminine has said to you, all right, I don't want you to get weirded out by me saying divine feminine. I'm saying this person has royal bloodline, okay? This Divine Feminine has already seen the fuckery up in here. This Divine Feminine has already most likely peeped you to gain, but you don't see what she sees. She's told you the truth. The Divine Feminine is not confused at all. The Divine Feminine ain't never been confused. The Divine Feminine has ignored it. Okay? The Divine Feminine is probably trying to think of options on how she can tell you the truth without hurting your feelings because these are close friends and these are family members who are trying to get the upper hand and snake the fuck out of you. Okay? Just understand this Divine Feminine has to tell you something and it's not easy for her to do. It's not. It's not easy for her to do. Yeah, this is a Divine Feminine, baby. This is a royal bloodline. God's here. You got the Empress with the God card, baby. The truth is, this divine feminine's been saying something to you. Most likely, you 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 don't want to hear it. You you've you've probably been ignoring it and been trying to give someone a benefit of the doubt. There's no more of that. There is none. Whatever this divine feminine's been telling you, it's been one hundred and ten percent the truth. Um. I see that you've really devoted a lot of time, attention, and resources in this family. Uh, friend, family. Baby, you will see the truth about it, okay? You will see the truth. All right, give me something on it to a sort. Give me something here. What is this? Something that you... Something that's been hidden, you've been ignoring, you've been giving someone the benefit of the doubt, devastated, heartbroken. You're going to see something's going to break your heart. Uh, yeah. Um, I think the divine feminine here, this is a divine feminine that is not, this person is ignoring it trying to think of options on how she can break the news to you about a member in your family, about somebody you deal with, like your homie, your homegirl, member, you know what I mean? A member of your family, because she knows that when she tells you this, you will be heartbroken, dude. She, yeah, you will be heartbroken. It's not easy. You know what I mean? It's not easy delivering bad news to somebody you love. This could even be about your kid. Pages are sometimes children pregnant. Damn. say that earlier i said how the fuck you end up pregnant we didn't even sleep together yo shit man 
There's somebody here sneaking the fuck out you, dude. This person's trying to get the upper hand. Yo, they are a sneaky bitch. I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean? This is lying, stealing, and cheating within the, the, the clique. You know what I'm saying? Like, family and friends was in on this lying, stealing, and cheating business. Okay? I do have the Empress here with the page. There's a whole message here that somebody is pregnant. Okay? The Empress is a pregnant woman. Pregnant. Pregnant. I don't know how to tell you is. The truth is I'm pregnant. Damn, dude. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been, somebody here been real busy all the fucking time. When it's time to go to court, this is going to go to court because um, there's a whole issue with the name of this baby. Blonde. All right. You got a devastated, heartbroken blonde. Maybe you got blonde hair or your girl do, but somebody here is devastated and heartbroken over a blonde. There's a blonde girl here somewhere or a blonde. There's a blonde, blonde person here somewhere. House fire, uh, arson. This is when London Bridge is falling down. We all go down. This is the tower. This is when everything gets burnt to the ground, baby over somebody's vicious behavior. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was just a one-time thing. No, don't nobody need to know. It only takes one time, baby. Ace of Swords. It only takes one time. This is awful. This is when the house comes burning down. Damn it, dude. Kidnapping, yeah. Somebody here is threatening to take the kids. They they threatening all of it. Somebody here is going to scramble. Scramble home. You know. Fuck. Oh, no. Yeah. Kidnapping. He, she don't love you. This person don't love you. Your kid is hiding things from you in reverse. I got the kids coming in with a message. They talking about abuse and neglect and what somebody was doing at the hotel. To There's somebody's kids here. It's, they run in their mouth. There's a kid here running their mouth. Oh, Lord, man. This is awful. Awful, 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 awful. Man, this shit does not end well. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, is there anything else I'm, I missed out on? Um, can you tell me something? Yeah, this kid. Yeah, this kid's this kid's calling this person a deadbeat dad. This is the six of cups. He says kids, emperor reverse. They're saying that this ain't no emperor at all. This is a deadbeat dad. Alright then. What's up? What's yo, is this what's up this kid, man? Okay. Um what can you just give Aries some advice? Give Aries, whoever needs this message, what is their what is Aries advice, dude? Real real easy. Make it simple for me. Tell Aries what they need to know. What do you what, what is your advice, dude? You know what I mean? Love who you love, man. And show love to the person that you need to show love to. Especially this female that you got a family with. Because you got some people hating on that motherfucker. There are some people here hating on your commitment. You want to you want a commitment with a female and shit look mighty fine over there. Better best believe you got some haters, baby. You got some haters here. If if somebody here is pregnant, they talking a lot of shit about somebody's pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah, these people here that you, they really thought long and hard about this shit. These are people that sit in a room all day. Yeah, this is their golden opportunity. Somebody see you as a meal ticket too, y'all. Somebody sees you as a meal ticket. Yeah, they flirting with you. These people hate your guts, but yet they flirt with you. Because they trying to interrupt what you got going on, man. Yes, this is when somebody comes up out their hermit-ass hole and comes towards you. 
flirting, coming right. They were sent towards you on purpose, dude. Oh, yeah, this person got a lot of tricks up their sleeve. This is a person that wears, um, I mean, I ain't trying to say nothing because I be wearing them sometimes too. But um, this is somebody that be wearing body shapers and shit, be trying to make themselves look like they the whole ace of pentacles. This person got tricks up their sleeve for fucking days. This is somebody that wears wigs. Everything about them fake. This is somebody, I mean, yo, we all look better with makeup on but this person has got a lot of tricks up their sleeve trying to convince you that they they the one. You hear me? Ace of Pentacles. Uh, they the one. They're coming right towards you, dude. Um, this is a whole hater that hate, they hate you. They hate your new, you know, if you just had a baby or somebody pregnant, they hate the baby. They hate this female. They hate your family. Hate. This person's put a lot of thought into how they will approach you. They formulated a plan. It's not much of one, but it's all they have. Um, they're coming directly towards you. It's going to smell like a, uh, I don't know, this person's got, they don't got their hair did. They got on their best undergarments. They don't, you know, put their whole body shapers on. Their whole Spanx is on. This motherfucker got tricks up their sleeve for days. Aries. I do think I'm talking to a dude. It was just too prevalent. 80% of my audience this week is male. Yo, yo, uh, listen to me. You got some trifling ass females out here hating on your relationship. Okay? Trife. Trifling ass motherfuckers. Yeah, you don't know this person. They desperate as fuck. I already think no. I listen. You don't know this person. Whoever you dealing with, you, you you think you know, you don't know. Yo, they desperate as hell. I hope my little southern ass can help you if you Jamaican. I don't know. It was a very Jamaican um, vibe, and they told me because they played this beat I had never heard before. I was like, I don't even know that song. I never heard that song in my life, yo. And um, they said um, put in. Jamaican, Jamaican style beat. I think that's what I typed. And even then, I did not recognize that song. I mean, whatever. But that's what they wanted. Listen to me. This person is vindictive as fuck. They want justice, and they are they arson. They plan on giving the tower. They want to ruin you, yo. It's going to be this person plans on it's bringing chaos to your world. This could be a real hard lesson, y'all. Yo. Your, your life's already been rough enough. Please accept this message. Message about your family. Somebody, use your head, y'all. Yo. You real pretty and you ain't, you far from slow. Use that big egg-shaped dome piece. Yo, use your head, okay? There's very fast-moving communication coming towards you. There's very fast-moving action come, yo. And what you give your energy to will be reciprocal. So what you give energy to is going to give energy back to you, okay? Better think hard because you've got the high priestess here. You better, you best use your intuition and your gut because there is a new cycle here and somebody is not playing fair. This person's a whole snake. This is a snake motherfucker. They plan on lying, stealing, and cheating. They plan on taking everything. For shits and giggles, just to ruin you. I mean, if they can, like, hold on to you and hold on to all your shit, cool. But if they ruin you and end all your end all your wealth in the time being, that's cool, too. I think I'm lying, y'all. You fit in a cry. I'm giving you a message from the heavens, dude. This is an answer prayer. I think I'm lying if you want to. Aries, I'm begging you, dude. Please heed this warning. I do feel like it's a warning in advance. You got a whole snaky snake, fakey, fake ass friend around you. Yo, Spirit said, um, keep your enemies close. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You got a whole, a whole friend that's not so much of a friend, dude. I feel like they're gonna confide in you. Then they're gonna bring you in on they shit. And you got too much to lose. You and this friend. You you twos don't eat the same. You don't live in the same type neighborhood. You don't do the same type hood shit. Okay? You, you better be careful, boo-boo. I love you. Bye-bye.